Muhammad Ajmal Amir, the terrorist captured in the 2611 Mumbai siege, was a Muslim and a Pakistani. Please do not confuse Indian Muslims with Pakistani Muslims. Indian Muslims belong to this country. They, this is their motherland. Nearly 200 people were killed, more than 300 injured. Muslims say those who held India's financial capital to ransom and made hostage of an entire nation of over a billion, terrorized it for over 60 hours, were not Muslims. And the action, definitely not jihad. The persons who are believing in Islam and committing the atrocities or killing the person, actually they are not following the teaching of the Islam. A cross-section of the community believes that the larger purpose behind the 26-11 strikes was to trigger communal violence. And so they feel Muslims have a greater responsibility now to reach out to people from other communities. The majority community or the other communities uh, should know more about uh, they are Muslim brothers. And I think the social interaction has to increase. The voices coming from far and wide. The fear is that Islam is being wrongly interpreted by radical Maulanas. There is an Islam from the Mullahs. And I appeal to all of them, that please give the right reading of the Quran to the young people. I do it to my children. Nowhere in the Quran, which we consider as the word of Allah, does it say that you are going to be given Jannah if you kill uh, harmless, innocent people. Nowhere. On 9th December, the Bakrit celebrations will be sober. Muslims from all walks of life will participate in a black ribbon protest. Former Indian cricket team captain Muhammad Azharuddin in an interview to a newspaper has said, The protest will send out a strong message to the world. Everyone wants to live in a safe environment and terrorism in the name of Islam has gone on for too long. The message from Indian Muslims is loud and clear. Enemies of our country are our enemies. Terrorists are enemies of Islam. In New Delhi, Maria Shakil.